catch a nice sunset with just a few high clouds overhead. We will see clouds increase overnight tonight and then wake up with mostly cloudy, maybe even overcast skies in a couple of areas, but nonetheless, a great shot in Holland. So this is a look at what we're tracking for the first couple of days. We do have a dry cold front moving in. It's fairly weak. We'll still get into the 80s tomorrow, but it'll bring cloud cover in the morning, sunshine in the afternoon, copy and paste for Tuesday. We'll start with some clouds and then lead into some afternoon sunshine and then be sunny through the majority of the work week. Uh, we do also watch the risk for the elevated fire uh, weather as well. That'll continue right on through the end of the week. I think our riskiest day, or at least most elevated day, will be on Wednesday, and that's when relative humidity values are expected to be near 20%. Monday and Tuesday, we also have the wildfire haze that's going to continue to stick around. That northeast wind, well, it's brought in some cooler air here as well, but it's also bringing in the smoke uh, from the wildfires out in Quebec, Canada. 69 right now in Grand Rapids, 57 in Ludington on the cooler lakeshore. But look at the 80s off to the west. That's where all the warm airs finally moved back to the central plain states, and it will remain there here for most of the week. Cold front to the north has some rain right now. Pretty good cloud deck as well. You can see residual clouds already lingering in to parts of northern lower Michigan. The rain will continue to move to the south and east or to the south and west, and it's going to split us. We're not looking at any rain chances here as this system moves in. One other note with it though, again, brings in the cooler air. There's another system off, to, off the coast, uh, off to the north and east. That's continuing to wrap in this cooler air. So temperatures really not going to get cold by any means, but more seasonable. We'll see temps in the mid to upper 70s instead of the upper 80s and lower 90s that we have seen here uh, to kick off uh, the month of June. Overnight lows tonight with the partly cloudy skies right around the low 50s, where we should be this time of year, pretty seasonable. And then tomorrow looks like one more 80 degree day before we stick in the 70s for a few. There's that cloud deck that moves on through, but notice no rain being picked up here in the West Michigan area as it moves on through. We'll see sunshine on through Monday afternoon and then more clouds will develop Tuesday morning and then into Wednesday or excuse me into Tuesday afternoon. We'll see more sunshine clear out and it should be a nice afternoon pretty much every day this week. But as we mentioned earlier, we still need the rain since April 6th. We are the driest all time in that stretch. Six inches off of our expected rainfall. You can see the records there were a half an inch less than 1985, which was the previous record. Kalamazoo and Muskegon seeing over two and a half inches of rain in the same span, but still top five driest for those communities as well. And again, no rain chances here for the week. Plenty of sunshine. Great to get outdoors. But uh, at this point, you're going to need to start watering your plants. Rain chances Saturday and Sunday, not home run rain chances as well. Cooler air still sticks with that. I think that rain on Saturday will reinforce temperatures back to the 70s as we get into the middle of June, but a fairly pleasant week ahead. And at this point, if you haven't watered your grass, we recommend not doing it because it can really damage the roots as they've already been so dry. You just got to wait for the next rainfall.